Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. Whew. Today I would like to talk to you about a subject that I have not yet touched upon in the in the past. Bottom shelf whiskey. A bottom shelf whiskey is to be taken literally. These type of bottles can be found on the bottom shelf in your supermarkets. They are dirt cheap. They will set you back between 10, maybe 15 euros. But are they worth your while? Are they any good? You will remember my creed is there is no such thing as bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and better whiskey. And then there is Ochentoschen. But that's besides the point. But is that the case? Is there no such thing as bad whiskey? What about these? The label is a bit nondescript. It merely says blended Scotch whiskey. There's no other information on it. No pedigree, no names of distilleries, only 40% ABV, 70 centiliters in the bottle, and that's it. And then it boldly states selected by and the name of the supermarket. So we have no idea what's inside this bottle. We cannot say what kind of blend it is. We only know that it is Scotch whiskey. But how much in here is single malt? How much in here is grain? We have absolutely no way of knowing. Now let's find out if this bottom shelf whiskey is indeed worth your while. The color, well, I'd say this dark amber, probably some shitty casks were involved. Let's find out on the nose. Well, there's not really much going on here. I do get loads of vanilla and caramel. In the background, I do get some oranges, but there's, a, there's, there's this edge. It's not sulfur, but it is getting there. It's a bit like, like a rubber hose. Yeah. Oh well. The palette then. Mmm. Ouch. Despite the fact that it is only 40% ABV, this is very alcoholic. It's a bit astringent even. Ooh. I do get the caramel in the vanilla again, some Seville oranges, but yeah, it's not very nice and it's not very complex. The finish. Well, the finish at least is mercifully short. So maybe, maybe I was wrong stating that there is no such thing as a bad whiskey. This truly is not worth your while. So leave these bottles for those people who are not very knowledgeable about whiskey. Or when you do get one, like I did, as a gift. Oh, imagine that. Well, there is one good use for it. Well, two actually. One, I can use it to clean my windows. Or two, I can serve it to my mother-in-law. And that's it for this Whiskey Rambling. I hope to see you again at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. Until then. May the mob be with you. Bye-bye.